Oh, hey, um, welcome to the Sam Livecast. For lack of a better term, uh, I've decided we'll call this week Shit You Should Know How to Make. It will be a part of a series of simple things that everybody should know how to make. Men, it's a good women. title. It is a good title, right? Men, women, whatever, kids. Kids, don't say shit you should make. You should say things uh, I should know how to make. Stuff. Thank stuff you, Lynn. So uh, we did that super simple Alfredo on Monday, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Simple we did Alfredo the sim- with simple, the Bucatini. Simple Alfredo. Uh, Which, by the way, Bucatini is probably one of my favorite pastas now. It's the spaghetti with the, basically the hole down the center. Unbelievable. Really good. Um, okay, so I, I thought while we did that, we'll keep in the theme, we'll end up the week with basically a complete meal. Oh my God, my phone. <laughs> ah, Rona me. No, He's been Why running around that? here trying to find his charger Why, for half just, an hour. I'm trying to turn this thing off. Slide power off, there we go. So I thought we'd end up with a complete meal by, by the end of this week. All things that you should know how to make. Simple things. We're kind of going to go back to front. We probably should have started with a salad. A basic salad is very easy to compose and put together. Once you know the basics of it, we're going to do that Friday. Today, though, to go with our pasta, we're going to make garlic bread. And garlic bread is really easy. I feel like I've said it before. I've been at the supermarket, standing in line, waiting to buy my stuff. Oh, God, you scared me. (laughs) Uh, I'm totally going to have to come to that (laughs) camera and see myself go, Uh, waiting in line to buy my stuff at the supermarket when someone inevitably puts a foil bag of pre-made garlic bread yeah. on the, the uh, conveyor belt thing behind me. <laughs> and I look at it. Once I said to a woman, I, I tried to stop myself. I couldn't help it. I, I turned and I said, you know, there's a really easy way to make garlic bread. It's so much better than buying it already made. She got made. way offended, huh? She was way offended. I was going to say... Offended. She had well, no interest. It might in make it a little better if, she, if people know who you are, but if they don't know who you are, they're like, who is this asshole I, trying to teach me how to eat and cook? I probably shouldn't be interjecting, injecting my personal opinions into what people have brought. Yeah. Kelly tries to tell me I should not be doing that. Anyway, I lost my head that day. So anyway, garlic bread. Garlic bread is really easy to make, and we're going to do this. So here's how we start. We need softened butter, a stick. Also known as half a cup. I gotta get something to mix this in. Sorry. You know, these things are so handy. But they're ugly as sin, aren't they? They are very ugly, yep. They're terrible looking. I do like the, the plastic nature. Anyway, so a softened stick of butter or bear, as we say in Canada. Sorry. You know in Canada they have French bags Canada. of milk? Bags of milk? Bags of milk. Como se dice bags? What does that milk mean? Milk comes in bags. You don't know about this? I need bags of milk. Bags of milk. Like you buy, you go to the grocery store and you buy a bag of milk. Is it in a box? In a bag? A no, bag it's in a, a box? I think it's in a bag. Wait, Get you out. know what I'm talking you about? You know this for sure? I know that they have like bags of drinks over, you know, in Asia. You can, when you buy, you don't buy like a bottle of something. You buy like a bag of juice. Interesting. Well, how, do you, how does it sit in your fridge and stuff? You don't. You carry it around with you and you sip it out of a straw. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm having this recollection of seeing a plastic container. I don't have one here. But like a plastic pitcher. Yeah. But it's, it's plastic but colored. We're going to look at the break. Colored. i got to turn my oven on. Sorry. Uh, I forgot what I'm doing. A plastic pitcher that you could put juice in and do this. But it's meant to store a bag that has no other way of standing up. Uh huh. Oh, there you go. That must be what it's for. From my days, it's been 25 years since I've lived up there. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's do this. So look at what we've got. Good soft butter. We've got soft butter. Uh, If you can't do it, put it in the microwave. But then it's not going to spread really nice, and then you're going to be pissed. And so make sure you've got good butter softened. So a couple. Big cloves of garlic. I got two giant boys right here. Look, you want the garlic to be prominent. You don't want it to be... 
What? What's what? just happening? I was standing here <laughs> talking, and like the camera was like over here. No, it was at you. Okay. okay. <laughs> it is Ooh. garlic bread. This. What else would you want? You'd want it to be prominent, right? Yeah. So you can chop it up by hand if you want. I find when it comes to garlic bread, using this thing, the garlic press is very easy. Yeah, it definitely makes life easier. Do you see how much garlic just came out? Yeah, because garlic is so sticky and. Yeah, but I but do, sometimes there's, you there's like times when I, yeah. I do like it depends what I'm doing, but I do like chunks. There he goes, leaving again. Where does he go? He's working on the audio. Where in do the you back. go? He's in charge of making sure that all of our awesome listeners can hear. It's an important job. Look up, watch coming. Get right here, and I'm gonna try and hold it steady. You guys can both see this? Yep. Wow. It just shoots it out. It's kind of disgusting. Looking. Good fresh garlic, man. I might want more in here, I don't know. Okay. You want to really smell garlic. If you're not really smelling garlic at this point, you got trouble. You need more. You need more. So, what is that in my salt? Salt, always again. We're not trying to make this salty. We're just trying to enhance the flavors of everything. Of the garlic, of the, wait for it. Oh, I know what's coming. Oh shit, is it coming? Is it green? No, it will be green, yes. Parmesan. Oh. I like to throw in about, I don't know, about a half a cup. Which looks like that much to me. A little bit more. Okay, good. Nobody move. I do have the green right here. There it is, parsley. parsley. Grab a knife. Try and bundle this up a little bit. Oh, that didn't work. Too much stem. <whistles> Chopping, not much more to do. Good time to practice your skills, ladies and gentlemen. I find it easy when I do chopping like this. Here's my fingers, check this, right? My thumb and my pointer are like this. I mean, yeah, you can hold your knife like this, but you have more control when it's right there. And then I put the point down and I put rest my, my left hand, if you're right-handed on top, and then it's just this back and forth. I use the hand to, this is my pivot point right in here, right? And then change directions. God, parsley is one of those greens that you chop it and it like explodes, really explodes. with the smell. I yeah. mean, they all, a lot of them do, right? Yeah. So I guess about a quarter of a, maybe it was a third. Okay. Um, I think there's the only two other things I want to put in here. I want to put in just a little uh, red pep, red chili flake. And I mean, a little, right? So that might've been like an eighth of a teaspoon. Sorry, Haley. That's it. What is Lewis doing over here? I always put a squeeze of olive oil in. I'll continue uh -oh. working over here. No, nope. somebody's in something. Hey! What's he in? Oh, the... What? The, the wrapper. He must oh, have grabbed he it. Oh, he got the wrapper? He must have grabbed it and run into was, the stairs with it. Who, was Lewis? Lucky? Uh, lucky, yeah. Oh my God. He never does that, you weirdo. He's a good boy. Leave him alone. Okay, come back to this. Okay. Okay, so now the butter. Oh, sorry. And a squeeze of olive oil. Olive oil is one of those things. Maybe a tablespoon in here. Olive oil is one of those things that I think just adds a little richness. Really beautiful richness to everything. We will not argue with that. No. Oh, I put too much cheese in. Now I'm going to have trouble spreading this. Oh, crap. Watch this. Really? 15 seconds. To make it easier to spread? Yeah. 
I feel like 15 is long. Is it long? Yes. It's too tender. <laughs> you don't want it melty. What am I doing? Why am I questioning you? <laughs> I'm the one with the cooking show. <laughs> Not you. That's true. I say 15 seconds. I want 15, like, perfect. Oh, smell. Smell, oh, smell, it's smell, unreal. smell, smell. All right, bread time. Let's go. It's go time. Mm. All right. Oh, uh, here's my bread. Serrated knife. This is when you want one of those serrated knives. The Tony Luke serrated knife. Oh, we love our Tony Luke knife. And you just cut like this. Booyah, right? Oops. If you put too much on, and that's often what I do, what you end up with is like far too like greasy, buttery uh, garlic bread. This will work on a loaf like this size, this amount. It'll also work on a, like a long baguette that uh, you cut, you, uh, long baguette, I was gonna say that, that you cut super long, that's obvious. And I know maybe this, is too, maybe this is too simple, but really I think when you have good garlic bread, you appreciate it. And it's one of those, oh my God. 12 minutes. 12 minutes, okay, hold on. Just let me get this in the oven. I don't think there's such a thing as too simple. I don't know. Oh. Look, there definitely are things that people should know, right? Uh. Okay, so here. My oven is on to broil. Broil, ladies and gentlemen. I don't do the wrapping it up in foil thing. I'm broiled, but I'm not going to do it right up at the top. I'm going to be down a little bit. Oh, God. I'm going to have to move this. Up here. And then it will go right here. And it's not going to take very long. You're going to have to watch it. I like the edges when they get nice and crispy and all that buttery goodness just melts down into the bread. And then we cut it. When we come back, we'll take that out of the oven and see what it looks like. There was something we are going to check in the commercial. Oh, the bags for the, uh, the bags for the milk in Canada. All right, don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> all right, and it's garlic bread time. That looks like ah, this. How what? beautiful, how beautiful is that? Look, if you look close, you just see the little bits of bubbling goodness in there, right? Maron. We'll just take one. Hear the crunch, that's it. Look at that beautiful layer, just sitting there, all delicious and bad for you. Oh, come on. Do you know how good this would be with the, um, the Alfredo? The, the Bocantini yeah. Alfredo? Bocantini Alfredo? Jeez Louise. Hold you know back. what would be cool? Oh, yes, please. Maybe we should do um, a week where we do three uh -huh. recipes of one meal. Oh, gosh. It's kind of what we're doing. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Look at him eat it. Mmm. 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 Mm. So good. Okay, that looks like you're completely faking all of that. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, it's terrible. No, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's good. Okay, show the picture. We found the picture. Mm. Look at this thing. Mm. I was not crazy when I talked about a bag of milk. You weren't. That's the exact container that I remembered. Oh my gosh, can I have another piece? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why you guys put milk in bags up there. I, I don't know. But as I was looking for that, I saw a, uh, here you go, man. 
But as I was looking for that, uh, I saw some British uh, ads for those milk containers. Mm. So garlic, of course, is, is prominent in this. You get the parsley. And there's only right just a little hint of the of the red pepper flavor. Love in, right? that heat at the end. Just a little bit. You don't want it to overwhelm. It's not meant to be super spicy and stuff. Though there is a sriracha garlic bread on this uh, on the Livecast website. Wow. All right. We're good for today. Mm -hmm. Shit you need to know. Fettuccine Alfredo or pasta Alfredo. Alfredo sauce. Good garlic bread. Simple but really delicious uh, salad dressing on Friday. Boom, you got a whole thing all put together. And why do we do this? Because we care, we care about you and we're here for you. Makes me feel good. I feel good about myself today. We're doing the right thing. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tell your friends, share the pictures. I will see you on Friday. I'll be here, Max. Oh yeah. Lynn? Yeah, I'll be here. Okay, good. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. See ya.